all of which is super interesting and stuff, but right now all I care about is dealing with the loudmouth currently playing the game. The closer I get, the louder the yelling gets. Most of these are words that... What the f***? What in the actual was that? Oh, see? This is cool. This looks totally like the games that I used to play back in the 80s and 90s. No, those are definitely all words my mother would disapprove of. You've got to be... <laughs> okay. Me. There is no effing way that this is even plausible. Those hitboxes don't even effing connect. F this game. F it all night long. Haha. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, this is far from over, scrub. I saved up a little something extra special for you. I've been baiting you into attacking my sensei, which you fell for. Hard. Oh, hey. Did I forget to mention that I brought an extra ultimate technique scroll for my dojo? Whoops, my B. Wait, what? You haven't been farming. How could... XP share technique with creepy with creep waves XP share. Take this! Five-fold effing explosive death claw technique. What? How did you defeat me? Cute. That's very cute. No! Oh, GG! Fodder. No one can defeat me, Queen B. Oh, okay. My dry eyes painfully blinking makes me realize I've been standing here, watching intently during that whole exchange. I'm not 100% sure what just happened, but that didn't matter. I was completely sucked in. Couldn't tear my eyes away. I love the, um, the, uh, print, the, um, honeycomb print on, on her blouse. It was like watching a train wreck, or her cutoff, or whatever you call that. It was like watching a train wreck. I mean, if the train was the arcade game and the wreck was this was that guy's face. Hey, kid. What are you staring at? What are you at? staring at? Hey, I'm an employee. Never seen a champion of my caliber before? Have some respect, lady. Oh, I seeing as I don't even know how to begin to start I go how know how to begin to start to even consider how to respond to her question, I opt to take a moment and collect my thoughts. From what I've somehow gathered, she goes by Queen B. That jacket she's wearing identifies her as a member of L7 Gaming an arcade esports team. L7? Oh, that's gotta be a play on N7, because it looks a lot like the N7 symbol, but with an, a white L instead of a red N. That's cool. I, I'm almost positive that's the reference. And she's the most direct, fierce person I've met all day. That's saying a lot, considering who have I've run into so far. She'd be fun to hang around, no doubt. Why so rude, though? What a sore winner. Talk about a dominant personality. I feel the urge to kneel and submit. Uh, no. Why so rude, though? What a sore winner. Does she act this bluntly towards every new person she meets? Or grumble whenever she's on the losing end of a fight? It's off-putting. What happened to good sportsmanship and being nice to a fellow to your fellow human? Hey, don't just stand there all weird and quiet-like. It's creepy. She snaps her fingers to grab my attention. So, are you gonna f***ing quarter up or not? Excuse me, don't use that language to me. Think you can best the hottest rising star of L7? No. From what I've seen, I know I couldn't I couldn't best a scrub, let alone a prof professionally competitive player of this game. Nope. No thank you. Plus, I'm not sure I'm allowed to play games while I'm working. You? You work here? I'm telling you, they need to give us name tags. Something to identify us as, co as workers. Sloppy, Francine. Actually, Gavin? Sloppy. Real sloppy, Gavin. What kind of a tight ship are you? do you think you're running here, huh? I'm disappointed, Gavin. Disappointed. I'm not mad, just disappointed. Yes, me, and what's your job? Hassling me? I'm actually pretending to work here. Shh. I enforce arcade law within this noble funplex. Um, I'm actually gonna be bold. Uh, cause I think this is the only thing that she would actually respond to. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna be a bit of a rival. We're gonna have a bit of a rival here. Yes, me, and what's your job? Hassling me? Right? I'm the new floor. Effing right, I'm the new floor attendant. And you're not careful with your snark, I can show you to the exit. Oh, you are a cute one. Oh, jeez. Sassy. And direct. Hey, they haven't given you a name tag yet. How am I supposed to know who you are? Thank you! Thank you! Didn't I just say that? Name tag? Gavin, you're slacking, man. You are slacking. I think that was actually a weird tactic to have me introduce myself to her. I'm Hark. 
I did technically just start working here six hours ago. It might take them time to shoot me a name tag. Maybe they need to send a carrier pigeon to an ancient monastery where name tags are forged in a vast clay oven. Okay, so I have a tiny, tiny, I'm tiny bit basic and a tiny bit aggressive, but I've got a lot of kindliness. Nah, Gavin's just lacking big time. I'll talk to that silly boy for you. Make sure you get some proper respect. Uh, thanks? No problem. We gamers got to stick together. I'm Queen Bee, by the way. Yeah, I know. Agro style FOD lane pusher specialist for L7 Gaming. Yeah, honey, we are not gonna get along. You're a little too aggressive for my taste. I figured that when you put your arms over your head, cheered and shouted, no one can defeat me, Queen Bee. I, I figured that when you put your arms over your head, cheered and shouted, no one can defeat me, Queen Bee. Hey, I do not sound like that. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> Anyways, I'm one of the regulars around here. Besides Purr, Pear, and Teo. Great. So you'll be seeing a lot of me in the future. Great. This is, there's a, in these kind of games, I wouldn't necessarily do this in real life, but in these kind of games, if there's a character that I like that I, I see myself having a guilty pleasure thought of trolling, I probably wouldn't troll them in real life, but in a video game, I would totally, like, give them so much of a hard time whenever I could and rival it up. If I could rival up, it's the same thing as when I was playing Dragon Age Inquisition. There were definitely characters there that I just enjoyed messing with and rivaling with, so. Let's hope you last longer than the last guy. Oh great, now she's even making my job into a competition. I hope there isn't a betting pool too. You look like a smart kid. You've seen one of my many streams on the internet, right? Nope. Nope, I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Whoa. Really? Have you been living under a rock for the past decade? If you consider a small yet formidable apartment a rock, then yes. Oh, you sweet child. You are so innocent and pure. Come, let me show you the path to darkness that is the internet. Excuse me, uh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Sure, I'd like to learn. Will it hurt or traumatize me? Nope, nope, nope. My internal sensors are going off and they're telling me to reverse and leave this conversation ASAP. No, no, I think I'm okay without that. Come on! Where's the fun in that? Okay, yeah, yeah, lady. I'm just going to show you how it all works. Queen Bee grabs my arm and pulls me closer to the Fist of Discomfort cabinet. Is she allowed to do that? And upon further inspection, I, I see the whole haphazard pile of text she's rigged up. You can't just plug one of these cabs into the internet, so I use a number of clip-on webcams and mics and stuff. That webcam there, it broadcasts on my own personal PC back home, which then streams matches live to all my fans. The chat room appears on my phone. Cost a bit to put up, to put up, to bet everything all together, and it takes like half an hour to rig up, then test each morning. But after doing this here for a couple of years, it's easy peasy. Aside from Naomi grinding her teeth at my clip-on cameras, damaging the paint job, I mean. Anyway, I prefer to stream from the Funplex than from home. There's so much to miss out on sitting by your home, by your lonesome with the console version of FOD. The crowds, the wicked trash talk, the community. Well, wait, are you broadcasting live right now? Are we live right now? Nope, no <laughs> way. F no, that was part of my warm up matches. I've got a pretty big tournament coming up, so I try to get as much practice in as possible. Even if it is with a bunch of fodder. As in F-O-D-D-R, as in, you know, shum, lunch meat, Scrubs, yeah, we're not, we're not gonna get along. Losers, we're not getting along. I got the idea, yes. Queen Bee seems something out of a corner. Does the queen, what does the B in Queen Bee stand for? I have an idea. Uh, sees something out of the corner of her eye and glances around the arcade floor. She gives a nod to someone hanging near the Street Fighter TM cabinet. I love all these TMs. Ah, my crew is starting to trickle in. We should be starting team practice soon. Wait, what time is it? At the tone, the time will be 2.25 p.m. Eastern. Beep beep. Beep beep. What the? I gotta go live in five minutes. Listen kid, it's been swell. Little chat later, right? Is that a threat? Is that a threat? Sure, uh, one thing. Can you keep the swearing down at least a little? We've got kids around here, and I don't want you to get in trouble with Gavin. Hmm, meh. But for you, I'll keep it to a PG-13 rating. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are some butts out there that I need to kick. Later. Later. 
With a wave and a twirl, she completely abandons me and returns to her fist of discomfort game. I really wish I could have trolled her more. I'll try to do that more the next time I see her. Queen Bee fires up her broadcast rig, and the shouting and milder swearing starts up again. I should probably get out of here before I accidentally end up on the stream. Queen Bee may be certifiable. She's got a volatile personality, to say the least. Still, she seems to like me, so there's that. She strikes me as a sort of as the sort to start out rocky with anyone, but gradually get used to working with them. Good for me. Okay, so I'm pretty on par with these three, and I figured that the way I responded to her, she would like me, but it's how I would have responded to her. Let's see, what's to handle next? The irate customer near Mr. Mopey's magic maze. My mutant floor attendant senses, my senses, sense, senses detect danger from the left-hand side of the arcade. I quickly rush all of 30 feet to the scene of the crime, already in progress. <coughs> Come on, an angry rando. Hurry the F up and finish your game. You, do you work here? You, do you work here? I saw you behind the desk earlier. Note to self, ask Kevin for a name tag or something. This is what I've been saying the whole time. Gavin, you're still slacking. Slacking Gavin, slacking Gavin. Yes, I'm Hark, floor attendant. Well, stop attending to the carpets and attend to me. I want this F to wrap up his game so I can play. Ashley's face is obscure beneath her costume's mask, but I can feel her wince as the man curses up a blue streak. Sit, sir, there are children present. Please keep the swearing to a minimum. You kick this fat piece of blah off this game and I'll sing Mary Had a Little Lamb all you want. Figuring I ought to hear the, f the, I ought to hear the fat piece of F side of the story before rushing to a judgment, I tap the player on the shoulder. <gasps> it's a ginger. Hello, Mr. Ginger Man! And he doesn't even notice my tapping. So I tap again. Twice. Hmm? He I normally am not, I've said this before. Totally cool if that's the way you are. Totally 100 percent cool. But when it comes to a physical attraction, purely superficial physical attraction. Facial hair is not my thing. Same thing with my husband. My husband does not like facial hair on guys, at least in terms of physical attraction. But for gingers like him, it's good. It's good. I'm all. I'm all on board. Would I feel? Would he be more my type if he was clean shaven? Yes. 100% more my type. Does it still work for him, even though? Yes, 100% yes still works. Sir, there are other players waiting to give Mr. Moopy's magic maze a spin. So Mr. Moopy is the earrings. Those are the earrings of Miss Francine is Mr. Moopy. Curiously, the player looks up at the game's marquee. Thank you, Naomi, which simply reads Moopy. And I, one thing I like about this character is that he's not, he's not like, like, you can tell that Gavin is like that, he's got that ideal, like, pear-shaped, you know, very fit, muscular, um, fit body, which, I mean, I'm not complaining about what whatsoever. I like this guy's build, but I like this guy's build too. There's something about it that is just as sexy. He's got that, I mean, I'll call it a dad bod, but, I mean, it's a... He's 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 good looking guy, and is that a mage? That looks like a Final Fantasy like mage on his shirt, which I have mad respects for, and actually makes him hotter. If I was being if I was being um, uh, honest, uh, which are simp curiously the, the player looks up at the game's mar marquee. Thank you, Naomi, which simply reads Moopy. You know the game's full name? Sure, I played a lot when I was a kid. It's actually called Mr. Moopy's Magic Maze, right? Wizards and pellets and monsters and stuff. Now this looks a lot more different than Pac-Man, but it's it's still cool. Yeah, a bit terse as he's laser focused on the game, and I can see why. He's currently sitting on 714,900 points. Wow, that's a heck of a high score. Or as this other guy would probably put it, holy f, what's that's a f of a high score. Excuse me. Right, right, sir. Can you please wrap up your game? Hmm. Nope. I keep go. I keep. I'm keeping good pace here. 
Plenty of livestock on par for getting close to the world record before the kill screen. I mean, that's the thing. Like, if you're... if When it comes to arcades, it's first come, first serve. If you're on a machine first, I don't... Most machines, most arcades don't really implement, like, a time. A time, time limit. Because... A lot of games are just long, or you just play until you get the highest score, and that could take a long time. So, if you don't want to wait, then PC game or console game at home, if you don't want to wait for other people. Um, yeah, I don't think it's, I don't, and I think it's reasonable for this guy. If he's still, if he hasn't died yet, if he's still playing the game and the playing game continues on, he has every right to keep playing the game. Um, Wait, he was... Somehow the thick arcade jargon sounds classier when draped in his British... He has a... Br he has a British accent? Yo, man. Yo. This ginger hunk has a British accent. If he had an Aussie accent, that would have just put him through the roof. But British, I'll take. He's like red-headed Alistair. He's like... He's like Sir Ror Rory Gilmore. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. You all knew! If any of you who knew all the characters were, and you just looked at the characters' pictures, you all knew which one I was going to gravitate to. Somehow the thick arcade jargon sounds classier. It's like I'm watching some documentary program on the BBC. Yeah, but this is a public arcade. Other folks want to play the games too. He finishes clearing the current board while pondering the predicament. Okay. At first I think he's stepping away to end his game, but he's letting his, his stock of 50 extra dudes slowly deplete as he pulls out his wallet. Without pause, he pulls out $3,000 in cash and holds it out. 3000 So he's going to buy this game. Is he going to pay for this game? Will this cover it? For a moment, a flashback. This guy's loaded. What does he do for a living? What does he do for a living? Jeez. For a moment, I flash back to that movie where some dude pays another dude to sleep with his wife and they roll around in bed covered in money and, um... Cover what exactly? The cost of the game. The game itself. I have never seen this much raw cash in one place at any given time. It's not even in 20s. Dude's rolling in Benjamins. I am... Um, one moment, please. On it. Fortunately, Iris already has my messenger app open for me, with Gavin's contact info preloaded. With trembling fingers, I key in. Customer wants to buy Moopy for 3k. What do? In less than a minute, I have my response. Considering we paid $200 for it, plus parts, yes. Absolutely yes. Sell that relic immediately. <laughs> oh, I did not expect any less. I did not expect any less from Gavin. Well, okay then. Although, now, how's Naomi going to react to this? Offloading one of her darlings just because Gavin wants to make a 15-fold profit. But I mean, in theory, we could use... That fifteen, that three thousand dollars to buy a whole brand new Moopy's dungeon thing, and even we can buy three of them at least, more than that. But it also feels kind of weird to be taking advantage of this guy's lack of a grasp on the real cost of old arcade machines. I knew all this workspace drama was going to catch up to my to me at some point, but with this rando breathing down my neck, I got to make a decision. The game was two hundred dollars, but I'm not sure we should sell. 3,000 sounds about right. It's yours. I'm not sure if we should sell this game. Um, I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna be honest with this guy. I I don't I don't want to start things off with a really cute ginger by lying to him and taking advantage of him. I'll say the game was 200 dollars, but I'm sure we but I'm not sure we should sell. It's an older game and actually only costs us about 200 dollars. But well, it's part of the arcade, sir. I expect this apparent gazillionaire to, pr to protest at not getting his way. But he's smiling. You're right, this is Mr. Mookie's home after all. Let's compromise. I'll pay you a thousand dollars American and own the game. But keep it- but you keep it here. I mean... Gavin still gets a profit from it. Gavin's still getting profit of it. Not- not a 2800 profit, but it's still a profit. It's better than what he had come this morning. Let's, um... This guy's smooth. This guy's really smooth. That way I can keep chasing the score, but your arcade stays whole. I'd hate to break up a loving family. This guy seems to have a lot of heart. I like that. Naomi will be relieved to hear that. Even if Gavin may flame me for passing up two grand. 
Good. I need to make Naomi cry. How could I live with myself? Oh, he's such a teddy bear! I love him! Which leaves the rando hope popping mad. To be fair, he we had been kind of ignoring that he exists. What the F, man? What kind of an arcade is this anyway? F this, I'm going to Deco's Palace. Deco's Palace. And we just lost a customer. Stomping his way out of the door. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Yeah, but we also gained a thousand dollars from this customer. <laughs> On the plus side, Naomi won't cry. On the negative side, I just drove a rando out into the cold. What a disagreeable fellow. <laughs> As for the player? Well, he goes right back to playing. Eating pellets, zapping ghost monsters, clearing mazes. This is a guy I'm gonna crack open. I'm gonna get to... I'm gonna get past his... His video game staring exterior and get down to the root. With the crisis behind it, I can actually focus on who this gonzo rich guy actually is. He... <laughs> he seems to care about more... He seems to care more, more about more than just his games. Splashing around cash, hiring Mr. Moneybags. Oof. Digging that. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that, ladies and gentlemen? That cuddly, cozy teddy bear physique. The Benedict Cumberbatch accent. And he's soaked in compassion and empathy for others? Yes, please. He could have just waltzed it out of here with, it, with that game. He didn't. He cares about more than money and more than his own high scores. He's more mature than me, and, but that's more than okay in my book. I've always been attracted to that age bracket. Okay, okay, so he's slightly older too. I'm cool. I'm good. I'm sure he could teach me a thing or two. About Moopy, I mean, right? So, you know Naomi? He's happy to talk even while playing. Of course. Of course. I'm a Funplex regular. My name's Percy. I like that. Percy. I like that name. I'd hazard your our new floor attendant. I was here when Francine seated you behind the desk earlier. That's me, Archangel, Arcade Wrangler. Well then, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I look forward to getting to know you better. Oh, uh, you and I both. The pleasure's all mine, sir. So, you've seriously just been playing Moopy all day, huh? What can I say? It's my calling. I like this guy. I like this guy. Benedict Cumberbatch accent. I actually owned a Moopy cabinet once. Had it in my flat. But playing it by myself, all alone in the dark, it's not the same. I need the atmosphere. I like how he calls it his flat. I know that's what it's supposed to be called, but it's so charming. The beeps and the boops? No, those you eventually learn to filter out. Which we did. I mean, everything. The games, the lights, the kids, the feeling of being in an arcade. I score my best when I'm in real world conditions. It's all about the emotions. The laughter and the tears, the excitement of competition. I need that swirling chaos of human emotions around me to play at my finest. Mm -hmm. Naomi gets that. She keeps Black Moopy in top condition for the day I eventually land my high score. I I don't do a good, I don't speak a good British accent well, so just bear with me. My apologies, like right away. What's the current world record then? About three and a half million. This guy's been standing here since I was working the morning shift. Hours and hours. And he's still only about 720k into this game. Can't imagine him being in anything but top health condition to try this. Guy's gotta have legs made out of carbon fiber and a bladder of tungsten. Hmm. I just let a few extra lives drain out whenever I need to go pee. <laughs> also, he may, be a, he may be psychic. I feel like I should let him get back to his game, but burning questions, they burn like fire. How is it he can afford this game? You must have a solid job, good income. So, gonna get your moopy dipped in gold? Your score is more important than your bank balance? So the first response feels a bit inappropriate. You know, you must have a solid job, good income. That doesn't seem like something that I should be tell telling customers because what their income is is none of my business. This one seems to be like patronizing him. So going to get your money dipped in gold. Your score is more important than your bank balance. I feel even though it's the basic response, I feel like it's the most polite response because I don't I don't actually love any of these responses. But the one that I l dislike the least is this one. Your score is more important to you than your bank balance. So, I take it your high score is more important to you than your bank balance? The way you just decided to buy Moopy, I mean. 
right. Of course, the score is more important than anything. Except eating and paying rent. More important than anything. Really? More important than anything? A few hours of day trading after I go home keeps the bank balance in balance. Anybody could do it if they have the head for numbers. He points to the current score at the top of Moopy's screen. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to define myself by number, this is the one I choose. I guess for somebody who is so, you know, he's into scoring the highest score, the highest numbers, it makes sense for him to be doing as well financially as he is, you know? That makes a lot of sense. I don't feel people are defined by their work. I know the arcade is home to those who've made their passion into their work, but it's the passion that matters more. I've my passions the same as anyone. I look forward to learning yours as well. I look forward to learning more about you too, Mr. Percy. When I'm not deep in the middle of a game, I mean. He's getting more and more distracted by the game. I should leave him be. I have to do a thing about a thing. Mm -hmm. Be seeing you, Mr. Angel. Be seeing you, Mr. Percy. Nice. Nice. We're doing really well with everyone except for Queen Bee. Yet another weird encounter and a string of weird encounters. I can't help but wear a goofy grin as I walk away. <laughs> a hot guy with a big heart. Yep. Still my type. Still, I shouldn't get ahead of myself here. He's a funplex regular. Let's keep an eye on him. Preferably too. Let's see what to handle next. A loud crowd around Showtime stage. In the distance, I see a number of people gathering, which is surprising since the first half of my shift was complete and utter solitude. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy to see that people do come to the arcade, but that's quite the crowd that's assembling. Like, larger than Queen Bee's team was, rowdier too. This has to be against some fire code or safety protocol or something, right? Speaking as a citizen that enjoys living, having an escape route is in a case of emergency is necessary. Time to clear the way and pave my own path of safety. As I approach, I see flashing neon lights accompanied by upbeat Europop drifts. It's an auditory flashback right to 1980X. I can't help but nod my head to the beat. A pulsating mass of people surrounded Showtime stage, cheering on the current player. The game itself takes up a whole corner of the arcade, requiring a fair amount of space to actually play. Showtime stage is an ultra-modern arcade smash hit! It uses motion tracking sensors hidden behind, behind the colored spotlights to check dance pose accuracy and score your sweet moves. It's pure dance fever. Can you catch the fever, Hark? I had my dance fever shots at the doctor's office earlier this season. But um, so oh, with those dad jokes. As the dance ends, one of the players hops down from the stage and immediately starts talking to a young man leaning up against the back wall. Did you see that, T.O.? I got my first double A on Stop the Beat. Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah, I did. You're doing great. Remember last month, I couldn't even pass that song. Totes impressive. I'm gonna keep practicing, and one day, maybe even surpass you. Hey, I hope you do. And when you do, and when do you do, you can be the one who brings in new dancers and teaches them how to play. As the song, next song starts, my eyes shift from their conversation to observe the gyrations and intricate limb movements coming from Showtime stage. I feel my head bobbing and my foot tapping. Hey, it's a really catchy song. Can you blame me? I'm getting really into it when... I feel a hand on my shoulder. Care to dance? I know that voice! That's Chris! That's Chris es Escalante! I'm sorry if I'm botching your name, Chris. I know him! I've met him! Chris has done a number of voice acting for video games, especially uh, visual novel video games. He's not only has a fantastic voice, but he's a very great composer too. Um, I met him because he was one of the voice actors for another visual novel uh, romance sim, one of my favorites of all time, the Seduce Me series by Michaela Laws. Um, yeah, and I had the amazing opportunity of interviewing Chris um, in an interview with the other main voice actors, plus, plus Michaela, a few years ago, which was amazing. Um, huge fan of his work, of course. Chris is fantastic. Much love, Chris. We love you. Um, <laughs> I didn't expect him to be in his game, but why wouldn't I? Uh, how about you? Want to take the spotlight? Sure, I can learn as I go. Let's dance. What? In public? I think not. Dance with a hottie like you? Absolutely. I'm gonna say, sure, I can learn as I go. Let's dance. 